Right, good morning, welcome back. The wheels are here and I'm absolutely over the moon with the results, I seriously am. First of all, the hubs are unscathed, not a single mark on them. I sent them away with flawless black paint and they've come back exactly the same way. That's a credit to the wheel builder. It's a robust business lacing up a wheel and he hasn't put a single mark in them, so awesome. Secondly, the wheels. Now the front, I've gone for a 19 inch diameter as is standard, but for the rear, instead of the traditional 16, I've gone up to an 18 inch rear. I'm hoping that will help me achieve the look of the bike that I'm going for. So 18 rear, 19 front and they're stainless steel rims and I wanted that because they won't corrode. Also the spokes are stainless steel heavy duty spokes that won't corrode and even the spoke nipples are brass nickel plated so no corrosion. There's nothing here that will rust and I've paid a lot of money for that convenience. This has been a huge investment so for all that convenience I also want them tubeless as well. I don't want to get out there on the road and get a puncher and have inner tubes that mean I have to get ferried home in a truck. I want to be able to plug it up and ride on. So tubeless rims it is. I'm going to seal up the spokes today and then they'll be ready for tires. Let's do it.
Okay, 24 hours to dry now, I'm fully cured, then I can muscle the tires on there tomorrow. In fact, it's touch dry already. Anyway, with all this, I did it two years ago in The Legend, and I get three recurring questions that keep coming up even to this day on that old series. So I'm gonna answer them now and hopefully prevent you having to ask them. The first one is, how do you adjust the spokes now you've got sealant on the end of them? Will they not, will they turn now? Well, no, they don't because you've sealed them, you've frozen them. So in one sense, they can't undo themselves now. So maybe that's a bonus. But look, if you do need to adjust them, just use a wire mop. If you're gonna true a wheel, you always take the tire off, obviously, to allow it to true itself up. And then when you adjust the spokes, identify which ones you want to adjust, take a little wire mop on a drill, and just buzz the sealant off the end of that spoke. Piece of cake, it just comes straight off. And then afterwards, just spread a bit more in, job done. So yeah, you can. You can adjust the spokes with a wire mop, grind them off the end. Secondly, does it make it harder to fit a tire? Well, it does if you put too much in, because that little groove that you put in the sealant in, that's for the tire to go down into. So if you put loads in there, yeah, you won't get a tire on it. But you put a little thin bit in, like I do, you only want about three mil, same thickness as a rim tape. And then you've got plenty of room to still fit the tire. So no, it's not a problem. And the last one, wheel balancing. Does it affect wheel balancing? Well, it will do if you don't get it even. So that's why I take the trouble to rotate the tire whilst holding the scraper still and smooth it all the way around to work as much effort as you can to get it absolutely evenly spaced or even thickness all the way around the wheel. So that's down to how much effort you put into that and how correctly you get that. That's it. So there we are. Those are three questions answered that you're probably already asking. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Join me tomorrow and we'll fit the tires. I'll see you then.